everyone, my name's Miranda, and today I am here to give you my top five moments from The Flash Season 2, Episode 2. And if you haven't watched that episode yet, just beware of spoilers because, I mean, it's kind of hard to talk about your favorite moments if you can't spoil it. It would all, it would all just be bleeped out and be very awkward. So if you haven't watched the episode yet and you don't want to be spoiled, thank you for stopping by, but I will see you next time because spoilers are coming. So starting off with my number five moment is one we all knew was coming and that was the introduction of the second Flash aka Jay Garrick. And I really like his character so far. They didn't do too much with him because Barry was still very like untrusting of him because of everything that happened with Wells which makes sense especially considering that they basically have to take everything Garrick says just on his word because he doesn't have his speed anymore so there's no really way to test that or anything. But I really like having him as the new mentor figure for Barry. I think it's really cool to see someone who has been doing this a little longer than him, has been maybe more trained but then also doing it on their own to see how like his interactions are going to work and like how his tips and stuff are going to help Barry to get even better than he already is. The only thing I'm not loving is how they're trying to like cram Jay and Caitlin, like they want us to ship them so bad they're trying to like cram it down our throats. I'm just like, no bueno, I like Snowberry, thank you very much. You're not going to convince me to ship them. Because even if I didn't ship Snowberry, my least favorite ships are the ones that basically you're just like forced to ship and I feel like they're trying to force me to ship this so it's just, it's not happening. I am still Caitlin Berry, 110% Flash Rider, so nice try, but you, you didn't convince the shipper to jump ship. My number four moment is the introduction of Patty Spivet, right? That was her last name. I really like Patty. I think she's like a flash version of Felicity, even though, you know, like we already have Felicity because she exists in this world, but she just reminds me so much of Felicity. Like she's really funny and really perky and all like, I don't take no for an answer. And I really like her. Again, not really shipping her with Barry. I'd rather Barry end up with Patty than Iris because I just I don't like Iris's relationship with him at all like right now it's I want him with Caitlyn like this much like I can't even fit it on screen that's how much I want him with Patty is like eh, if if it can't work out with Caitlyn I would rather be Patty and Iris is just she's not even in this room she's she's just no, please no, please no. And she definitely proved herself capable of everything, like everything she was saying. I was like, this is a woman after my heart. She's just so smart and so independent and so sarcastic and funny. And I really love her and I'm really interested to see more of her throughout the season. Let's just hope that she doesn't get in the way of Snowberry. Thank you very much, Patty. My number three moment is one of the best ones of the night, honestly, and that was Cisco discovering more of his powers as the vibe. I don't really like know how to explain it. I feel like it's something like he can like sense basically like the different timelines of what's happened. I don't know exactly how they're gonna work this in, but it definitely helped out in this one because he could go back and basically visualize things that had already happened just by, I don't know if he needed to touch that sand or if he could do it anyhow, but he was able to find out where the sand demon was keeping Spivet because of this, and it's just a really, really cool power, but he's deciding he wants to keep it a secret because he's scared since Wells was the one that told him he's going to do great things with this, that he's scared that that means it's something Wells is going to be proud of, and since Wells was an evil reverse flash, he doesn't want anything to do with Wells, and he doesn't he doesn't want this part of himself, so it's kind of like Sky from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Like, I feel like he's going to try and fight it for a little while until he realizes that, like, it's actually good. Dr. Stein knows what's happening, but he agreed to keep it a secret for him. But we'll see. We'll see how long that lasts. I'm thinking not long, but maybe, like, by mid-season finale, we will all know that Cisco is the vibe because I feel like you can't keep that a secret forever, bro. Like, these are your friends. They're going to have your back. Come on, bro. You can give yourself a fun name. It's fun. Number two moment is, of course, Zoom. <laughs> Why did I say that? So weird. I don't know. Zoom is the big bad of season two, we've been told. This episode, we learned more about him and we got our first glance at who he is, kind of. Like, he he's just like flash but he wears a gray suit instead. And his mission is basically what we learned in the first episode, that he's sending these metahumans into Earth-1 to try and kill the Flash and that's how they can get home because he wants to be the best so he needs to get rid of all the other speedsters in all the other Earths which is going to take a while if there's 52 I mean geez dude are you immortal because that's it's a hefty plan that's like that's like a five-part 
presentation PowerPoint plan you're gonna need. And I have a theory for who Zoom is. I don't know if it's right, but it would be super, super cool if it was. I think Zoom could be the Barry Allen of Earth 2. I think that would be so awesome because Grant Gustin has hinted that like he really hasn't gotten a Barry version from Earth 2 and I think it would be so flippin' awesome if they made Zoom to be Barry from Earth 2 because then it's like he would have this whole like dilemma of like how he was so corrupted or whatever like he's so good in Earth 1 but now in Earth 2 he's like such a bad guy and I think it would be so so awesome so I don't know if it's right but like just watching it I got like this like thought it was literally like I was like <gasps> It's Barry, isn't it? So I don't know if I'm right, but that's that's my theory for it right now. And they haven't cast anyone yet, so... Mm. And finally, my number one moment from the episode is, of course, the ending when Dr. Stein collapsed. Because I was just like, what's going on now? I was like, seriously? Is Ronnie gonna, like, come back and be like, hey guys, I'm gonna save y'all because I love Dr. Stein. And he's not dead, because he's gonna be on Legends of Tomorrow, so he's not dead, but... Well, maybe he is, and then they have to resurrect him, but I just think it was, like, a really, like, I was like, what is happening? We wrapped everything up nicely. What is happening? And then my favorite part, too, is how he collapses, and everyone, like, runs over, like, Rush is like, oh, are you okay? And Barry, who has super speed, is just kind of like, oh, no, Dr. Stein collapsed. Let me take the slowest way possible to get there. You, you okay, buddy? You need anything? Some Ovaltine? I can make my way over there. Like, Barry, what are you what are you doing? Like, run over there, run him to a hot... Like, what are you doing, Barry? But I'm really interested to see what's going to happen. I think he's alive. Like, I'm 95% sure he's alive. But you never know with this show. You just... You never know. So, if you have seen the new episode, leave your favorite moments from it down below. And who you think Zoom is, what you think of this new season, and if you're interested. And I promise I will try and figure out a less weird way to say Zoom by the next episode. So thank you guys all so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and want to see more Flash reactions and also comment and subscribe down below to be told when I make all sorts of new videos. Thank you guys again all so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!